Hello there, three new stories from Ethiopia and Eritrea for you. Firstly, uh, two updates. Uh, one is about uh, protests by some Amhara activists at a program in London. Second one is about PM Abi's appearance in Benishangal Gomez region yesterday when he visited Gerd, who was there with the Prime Minister. Uh, details for you. Secondly, pictures, videos are being shared, horrific videos and pictures showing the miserable conditions in which uh, people who are being arrested under the state of emergency are being kept. Uh, Amhara news outlets are sharing these pictures, videos and they are comparing these detention camps to the camps established uh, uh, in Germany. Uh, they, they are uh, drawing parallels. Thirdly, Eritrea viewers, Eritrean community is being ripped apart because of the opposition, the struggle and because of the support from some Eritrean community groups for Eritrean government. We are seeing polarization, this polarization is turning into violence. An incident which happened in Norway two days ago indicates that uh, the community should be involved in dialogue. Otherwise, we could see more violence, uh, intra eritrean community violence across the world. Firstly, viewers, uh, two updates for you. First one is uh, from the Benishangal Gomez region of Ethiopia. PM Abi visited GERD yesterday and PM uh, office announced the successful completion of fourth phase of the filling of Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Uh, pictures were shared of Ethiopian PM Abi with Oromia a President uh, uh, and Justice Minister Gideon Timotheus uh, and some others. Then more pictures were shared. Firstly, uh, several viewers pointed out that Gideon Timotheus is not Amhara. They say is from Southern Ethiopia. Now, uh, the additional pictures shared by PM office show that all regional presidents were invited there uh, at Gerd site. Gatha Choreda was also invited. From Tegarai, Gatha Choreda attended the program in Benishangal Gomez region at Gerd site. Araga Kabbede from the Amhara region, Amhara president. A far president was there too. Uh, Romia, Shimala Sabdisa, uh, BG president, Prosperity Party leaders, Damake McConnell there. People say Damake and PM are not on good terms, but Damake was, was there. Adam Farah, the other Prosperity Party uh, deputy chairman, there too. Ridwan was seen to Justice uh, Minister Gideon Timothy. So all were invited. Uh, Speaker of House of Federation, Amhara, former Re Amhara President, uh, again Otishagar, attended the program too. So it was all an Ethiopian program. All regional presidents were invited for this program. And Gatacho was there too, though in Tegarai we are seeing uh, criticism against Gatacho, but Gatacho is on good terms with Ethiopian PM. Gatacho is PMRB's pick. PMRB picked him. Uh, so uh, he is in control because he is uh, he has the backing of Ethiopian PMRB. Though at home in the region, he is facing uh, some challenges. But on federal level, I think he is very comfortable. PM Abi very comfortable with him, both uh, clicking well. Secondly, viewers, uh, uh, second update is about a program which was held at uh, an embassy in London. 
I showed a clip yesterday showing some activists protesting at a program. I said it was a community program. Now, additional information is that it was organized by Ethiopian embassy in London. So, Ethiopians, foreigners were invited. And uh, at the program, then some Amhara activists protested who were then escorted out of the venue of the program. Now, uh, horrific videos, pictures are being shared showing the miserable conditions in which uh, detainees are being kept, mostly Amhara detainees. After the state of emergency, uh, announcement uh, arrests of Amhara people intensified and now makeshift detention centers have been established in different parts of the country in Addis Ababa too uh, where these uh, prisoners are being kept but the conditions in which they are being kept are deplorable uh, Human rights organi organizations have no access to all the detention centers. Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia, I think, visited only one site, which is in Afar. That site was visited by, uh, by the commission because their top-level detainees are being kept. Christian Tadale, Janus Buyaleo, Kasar Tishagar and others, they are being kept there. Some journalists too. So, that is why Daniel... Uh, Bakale himself went to Afar and visited that site. What about other sites where uh, hundreds, uh, other thousands of ethnic Amharas are being kept? No access. No one knows uh, how they are surviving. Are they getting enough food? We have seen statements from some human rights organizations demanding access to the Amhara region, demanding access to the facilities where prisoners are being kept. But so far, government is not giving access to international human rights organizations. That is why now Amhara news outlets, Amhara journalists are comparing these detention centers to detention centers established uh, uh, in Germany uh, for Jews. They are saying that uh, these are extermination camps, not detention centers. Uh, I won't say that these uh, detention centers in Ethiopia are like detention centers established in Germany. But this is a cycle ongoing. We saw similar detention of Tegarians uh, in the two-year-long war. Tegarians were arrested indiscriminately. Those who were suspicious, those who were suspected of supporting TPLF, they were arrested. They were kept in a similar conditions. Back then, Amharas were silent. Amhara activists, journalists, they were supporting detentions. Now it is Amhara's turn and Tegarian silent. I think Tegarians should speak now. Why? Because they have suffered. They know how it is like to be at centers. They should raise their voice for the release of their fellow Tigrayans and for the release of these Amharas. That is the way forward. Otherwise, uh, you will keep on seeing this cycle. The cycle will go on. All ethnic groups will keep on suffering. Now, uh, uh, center of power is revolving uh, around Oromo leaders. And today, Romo is in command. Tomorrow, Amharas could be in command. This vicious cycle will go on. Tigrayan people should raise voice for these Amhara people, firstly. Secondly, international organizations, uh, Western countries should demand access. They are already demanding access. They should demand access to these sites where uh, retainees are being kept and, and government is bound to share details. How many have been arrested so far uh, by authorities in Ethiopia under the state of emergency proclamation? Where are they being kept? What are the conditions there? 
Let's hope that government shared details. I have a clip for you showing pictures, videos uh, of the detention centers. Lastly, words, violence is ripping apart the cohesion, the harmony uh, of Eritrean diaspora community. Brigade Neham, the member, has managed to organize itself. It's turning into a threat to Eritrean government's activities abroad. But uh, this unity is coming at a cost. Uh, the relations between Eritrean pro-government and anti-government elements in Europe, America uh, are deteriorating and we are seeing violence. Two days ago, an incident happened in uh, Norway, which shows that if there is no intervention, uh, we could see more violence, intra eritrean community violence in Europe and in America. Stavanger is a city in Norway where three Eritreans were working as drivers for a transport company. Three days ago, they uh, two uh, are supporters of the Eritrean government, third one was supporter of Brigade Nehamedo, and they started uh, a debate, a heated debate, which led to violence. Pro-government Eritreans attacked pro-Brigade Nehamedo Eritrean who was injured, who is receiving medical care and the attackers have been arrested. Three bus drivers who are Eritreans, all three Eritreans, but they have different political affiliations. They could not exchange views peacefully and uh, violence began. That is what is happening that Eritrean pro-government and anti-government elements are unable to talk. Polarization is increasing. Violence is filling the gap. So while Brigade Nehamedo can continue its political struggle, while Eritrean pro-government community can continue supporting the government, at least there should be some engagement, healthy discussion between these two sides in Europe, America. That is the way forward. Yes, they can continue uh, having, propagating their political ideologies. It does not mean that they uh, should be detached. They should be involved in discussions uh, and that is the way forward. Otherwise, this, the activities of uh, Brigade Nehamedo members and then the resistance being shown by pro eritrean government community members are leading uh, to a gulf between these two groups and the gulf is being filled by violence. Uh, the Norwegian police is uh, investigating the incident. Uh, the three Eritreans are from different regions of Eritrea. Two from one region, third one from another region. There is regional rivalry too and now political uh, rivalry as well between these groups. Already there are so many problems back home in Eritrea. 
the Israelis fled their country because of the problems there. Uh, if they cannot find peace in Europe, in America too, then then what is the purpose of settling here? So, uh, important thing is that uh, they'll have to learn how to resolve their differences peacefully, how to exchange views peacefully. This healthy, peaceful, meaningful engagement between these groups is missing. Thank you for watching.